All right, Ms. G is back with Journeys Interactive. Hello, Ms. G. Hello, Israel. So earlier I saw that uh, the video for the national or the pre discussion and the argument that went on in the studio between Evans and yeah, then in the uh, Yes, Kweku Superpower went on. But now, I'm sure some of you remember that the competition was a brilliant science and maths quiz. Yes, we'll talk about that. But join the conversation on our Facebook page is Joy News on TV. Now, when it was the brilliant science and maths quiz, it was restricted to elite sharks in various schools. Now, because of social media, the National Science and Maths Quiz has become the most talked about event since the competition began in earnest a few weeks ago. Today, Hashtag NMSQ was trending on Twitter and Facebook. The old boys and their girls, you know, the counterparts, you know, for acquaintance, the Cra girls and uh, Prempe, I think it's St. Louis girls or something. Okay, so their girls were all out in full force supporting their schools. So here's a scene from the Joy Newsroom earlier today. I guess some of you have seen this already. Correct yourself. The most decorated side of the national science and math quiz. You will go to the quarterfinals. Like you know where Trolley is. This is still that no some place to boys, master, no one. Oh, you you, you didn't qualify. Doggy ball. Oh, you got doggy ball. Pamper all the way. Pamper all the way. The blue color. The blue color power. Oh, you won't get it. You won't get it. You won't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Isn't it such a shame that they come to hear it? I'll just, but I'll just go. You people say they say you don't qualify. But you don't qualify. To ask them, you don't qualify. This is why the Ramadan, the Ramadan, may God bless you. Hey, hey. Now we have more. The very first, we want to enjoy it. The very first student to challenge that question. We want to enjoy it. 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 All right, so I'm sure this, this, I mean, this is the kind of argument that's going to be taking place mm -hmm. in most offices uh, tomorrow. Yes, it's going to for get days, a lot, you know, a lot, a lot the more weekend, heated. And some people will be partying to your school, those who went to Premper College. But there could be only one winner, and this year Premper College took the trophy home. Now, let's take a look at some celebration that happened at the college in Kumasi. <laughs> So this is actually an old video. It's a, it's a video that was posted earlier. It's, okay. It's not actually today. Okay, so it's not today. But yeah. you, are, you seem to have been enjoying the video. Well, yeah, and it reminded you of a, your it's days a, it's a, it's back a, in it's school. It's a Jama spirit. Okay, so it's the video a, is right behind you. And uh, Jama spirit, hey. <laughs> Okay, so Kweko uh, Usupepra is an old student of Premper College. And let's get his reaction. My name is Koko Usubepra, Premper College, 1996 to 1998, Freeman House. In fact, I'm a proud product of this great college. You know, when the competition started, people were doubtful that Premper was, was going to do anything significant. But when the Kumasi schools started falling by the wayside, and there was a whole lot of noise about the fact that it's always been an Accra thing, and the Cape Coasters were going to win a game, we went back into our caucus. Mm -hmm. We traveled. We brainstormed. And we've won this competition before. We, and, and the time that we won it, the, the significance of it made a lot of impact on some of our lives. I remember that um, in 1996, our headmaster, his name is Esper. How many of you remember Esper? Esper. <laughs> Esper came to um, Assembly Hall and said that Otun for Opokua, I think, at that time, had given us um, a cow. <laughs> so he came to the school and said, boys, today you eat your cow. <laughs> <laughs> and some old students also brought us some items and for, for our church service. And he said, because we won the, the competition, 
these items are for us. And he said, these were not made in here. They were made in there. <laughs> And that's, that's, a, that's a good one. Exactly. These were not made in here. They were made in there. Yeah. So it wasn't made here, it was made there anyway. So uh, I'm sure that Evans also, who is an old student of St. Thomas Aquinas, uh, whose school didn't win just by two points, had some few words to say. Aquinas, very tough in the back. We didn't lose, we were second. You, have, you, have you seen what the margin was? With just two points. That shows you how close the run them. And that tells you that there was only one good school in the whole of Great Accra, St. Thomas Aquinas. In fact, an entire country were second. And so that, for me, is a big deal. You see, the, but the thing about us is that we were second with Swa. Prempe, yeah, I mean, the one, but you know, it's not one of those victories that you can be excited about because they have no swag anyway i wish i wish them all the best i mean they've done they've done what they could but we'll be back next year well definitely i'm sure they'll be back he lost. stronger what's this uh, they, they, he, with he swag needs, what's he swag needs to he lost himself you know he just needs to console himself and they were pipped i mean they almost did it actually yeah but they did it but it was, the sad part was that it was just too much. But the only downside to today's event was the fact that the quiz mistress's bag went missing. And the theory surrounding this disappearance happened very creative on Facebook. Let's take a look at some of them, Israel. Hmm. All right, so, uh, so, so somebody, there's no news. So two boys school is a normal practice. She's even lucky to test school didn't go for final. Like her whole body will be stolen. Oh, hmm. no. Oh, oh hmm. no. Mm. And uh, Davido Bravo says, simple logic. Prempe took first, Aquinas took second. I decided to come back. Then for block the auditorium and search all the school boys, including the headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Adis Adisco was not no okay, so it's got eight replies. I'm sure some of the Adisco yeah, guys they just, come they're in. Just they're just mm. making fun. Mm, definitely, they're just making fun. And uh Adisco was not known for science and math squeeze. They were was really surprised when they took uh, the last year's trophy, but thank God they have displaced or they have been displaced uh, of their inheritance or of their inherent characteristics is that it uh, I'm, sure I'm also not sure what he wants to put out there but the 2017 joy fm beauty and bridal fair is underway with a special treat for one lucky couple now the couple gets a chance to win a trip to their dream honeymoon destination but whilst people are wondering about their honeymoon we on joy news interactive want to find out something else we're asking if you were to marry your partner at the place you first met them, where would that be? Let's see some of your answers. <laughs> Are you asking me to reveal a secret or something? No, of course. Uh, I don't know. I don't easily recollect when I met my, my sweetheart, but uh, it would make a lot of sense to go back to where, you know, emotions were ignited and relive the experience. So. Um, Kokum Limli. Kokum Limli. Yeah. Which side of Kokum Limli? Um, around HTC area there. Wow. I think it will be a church. Which one, please? Oh, I'm a colleague, so it will be in a college church. I would prefer the place to be in a church. Yes. So, you met your sweetheart at a church? No, yes. Currently, the one that I'm moving with, I met her at church. Okay, so I'll definitely respect Israel this one as well. But when he was about five years, Matt Grosky promised to marry his or his best friend Laura Shishil that he would marry her. In 2015, he made good on his promise and they got married. It's a romantic story and we're asking you, would you marry your child with sweetheart? It's possible. Why? Um, because marriage is our friendship and he's the one you've known for a very long time. So it's better for you to settle with that person than to go in for a new person that you don't know at all. Uh, if we click and then the compatibility is there, fine. We'll go ahead and marry the person. But if not, I don't know. Yeah. 
Let me yeah, yeah, why not? I, I mean, because then, then the relationship would have been, should I say, longer, and then we would have known it's other better, I suppose, if it's... Well, that'll be it for Joyce's Journeys Interactive. But I have a ticket from Roverman Productions for you. Unfortunately, okay. I didn't bring them here. They say you promised to come. You didn't come for JJ's uh, honorary uh, performance. But you need to be there this weekend. I will be. Uncle Lebo sent you two invitations. I will be. Thank you very much, Uncle Lebo White. And, uh, but the question I would, I would have loved to ask you is if you were to marry your partner, mm -hmm. exactly the first point you met him, mm -hmm. Would you be able to hold that reception there? Oh, why not? It's a big space, big enough to hold. Where was that? Somewhere big enough. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Uh, Miss you.